Okay, a quick word about seven chords. Um, the fact that there's an A minor seven and an A major seven chord confuses a lot of people. So let's start with what makes it major. Here's an A chord. What makes it major is that, that B string. I've got, a, I've got a C sharp there. I can make the chord minor by lowering that to a C natural. There's A major and A minor. Okay, now what makes it a seven chord is actually adding a note. We're not we're not lowering one of the notes, we're actually putting another note in. Right here we've got A, C sharp, and E. I'm going to put an open G string in it. Now we have we have an A, E, G, C sharp, and E. We've got four notes. Well, the chord is still major. I've still got a C sharp in it. But the G is, a, is not the major seven in an A major scale. It's the flat of seven. This is the dominant seven chord. And A major, so an A seven chord is a major chord with a flat of seven major 7 chord. It's still a major chord, but it's got a major 7. I'm taking that G up to a G sharp. So if I have an A chord, I can lower the middle string one fret, have an A major 7, lower it another fret, have an A7. Now if I've got a minor chord, and I put a 7 in, put that G, open G in it, I have a minor chord with a flat of 7. That's an A minor 7. So if the note that made it minor is this note, going down one fret there. The note that made it seven was this note going down a whole step to there. So minor seven, we lower both of them. Now you can actually have an A minor major seven. Here's an A minor chord. Okay, the, the, the C makes it minor, but the G sharp is a major seven. So I can actually have an A minor with a major seven. And you're saying, oh, that sounds awful. When would you do that? But it's a descending note. Seven. And that's usually in 